Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tehutu and yes, I am the guy that four years ago, almost five years ago, went all into Bitcoin after selling his house, his companies and everything else. I am now on the top of one of the balconies in this beautiful hotel here, Escape Tulum. It's near La Veleta, it's like his area, really chill area and his hotel is amazing. Um, I'm on the top of a balcony or how do you call it? A terrace over here they have a beautiful jacuzzi like you can see they have amazing pool view over there uh, so yes one beautiful apartment that you can also rent for long term but that's not what you want to talk about you want to talk about bitcoin blockchain and life so let's jump into the bitcoin and blockchain and live news for today guys i have some amazing bitcoin charts really cool charts that will help you not to freak out but zoom out to what is happening at the moment yes you need to see this you need to see this don't skip these charts they are very important to give you this relaxed zen mindset that i have here in mexico as well so now you can see my eyes as well <laughs> and then of course talking about the news some really cool news and yes also showing you some bam bam and tiktok results enjoy today's video guys bam Let's jump first into the Bitcoin TA part, the power bomb, you were really cool charts. Oh yeah, I'm going to try to do the TA part behind my laptop so I can, you know, scroll through the charts a little bit better so you get a better overview. I can zoom into some areas I want you to see. So let's see if that one, the combination of me running around in the wild and behind my laptop creates more beautiful videos with a little bit more like value in these videos. Check this. Bam. Let's take a look at this one, guys. This is the four hour chart. And you can see here on the top four hour Bybit hiking ashy candles, guys. This was this huge bull flag that we broke out of to the upside. And what are we doing at the moment? That is the big question, guys. Is this again a bullish pattern, like a flag, a bullish, bullish falling wedge or a rising wedge? You know, you can see these patterns all over the internet. You can, if you just Google, you can see, you know, you have a bullish flag pattern, you have a bullish pennant pattern, a bullish falling wedge, but all those bullish patterns, they always continue to the upside. So are we seeing the same? Is this again the flagpole? Is this again forming a bullish pattern where we go to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, maybe 43k and bam explode and if we would explode then guys yes we would need to explode with the length of this one and the length of this one would bring us let's see oh, let's see we explode over here somewhere would bring us to bam 72 or 74k even if we would do the same thing we did here forming this bullish flag pattern breaking out with the length of the pole that we have here. Now again, falling, forming this beautiful bullish pattern, um, which could break out to the upside almost all the way to the 70K. Um, to show you a little bit more, these are the patterns. You can also have the bearish flag patterns. These continue to do down side. Um, let's take a look at this chart, guys. Really important chart, because this one is for me the parabolic chart that we have been sharing I've been sharing for a couple of times, guys. This is this parabolic trend line support, the orange one coming up here. Beautiful bending up. This moment, I posted the chart for the first time over here. Now you can see this is the updated part. Yes, we went up, not completely to this one yet. And we came down again to this line. So this is also showing you this bullish flag or pattern, or again, this bullish falling wedge that is what i think at the moment so if this would be a bullish falling wedge then yes we would break out again 
you know, this one is also saying we would be breaking out to here, 65, all the way up maybe to 70K. This is a parabolic trend line. That is the support we are searching. That is really cool, guys. Some other things that I want to share with you is about this one here, pay. I have already talked many times of pay. And everybody's asking me, did he, when should I buy pay? We are now at $2.77 at paid, guys. Paid has already gone to $5, like you can see on this chart over here. Like, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see we already were at $5. We are at $2.76. That's almost the hell of where we were at paid. Paid is, you know, developing beautiful, beautiful projects every day again, launching them with Ignition. I don't think the pace will be going down. Like you can see, we see the reversal of the trend here. I think before you know it, we are above 3K, at $3, we are going to go back to $3.50. And yes, we will visit this $4 area as well. So in my opinion, paid is a really good currency to invest in because the project is like solid. Um, let's take a look because we are now on the chart. Let's take a look at family, guys. Family, bam, here we have the family. Also doing okay. We have a total liquidity of 300,000 US dollar already. That's a beautiful number. Uh, we already only started like three months ago. Let's take a look at family. Yeah, our all time high was $55 cents, almost $65 cents. Yes, we are, you know, just copying Ethereum move. So I think we will be going up to 45, maybe to 50 again as well. So, yes, also the family token is a beautiful token um, to invest in at the moment. Bam! Let's take a look at some more really cool stuff while I'm behind the laptop. I'm going to share with you this. Bam! This is the BAM trace, guys. Yes, the BAM BAM indicator. We traded yesterday again. We traded with a dollar, $500 with a leverage of 10. I didn't have a lot of time. The reason I don't have all the time to trade at the moment is, um, you know, that, that we are searching for something cool to stay for a longer time on the beach as well. We are now like uh, like two kilometers from the beach, a beautiful building here, apartment complex. I will show you around a little bit, and it's really amazing people. But I love the beach vibe, and I need to get up in the morning and see the sunrise, you know, and do my beach walk and talk. That's just how I feel best. But like you can see, I did this five hundred dollar trade at the leverage of ten. I only did one short. I entered the short here. I need to sh shut off these things. I entered the short and. When this candle closed down below the yellow stepping line, we already saw the short leg. That's the first indication. That's the warning. Now, be aware, we are going to see a short. Then we close the candle below this yellow stepping line. That is the first confirmation to take the short. Then we look to this one here over there. We can see the green declining. We can see that it's showing less than 20. The level 20, you can see it this time. That was also a confirmation. We are going below 20. We could see the yellow already forming, even blue coming in. So yes, second confirmation. We could see this white line over here going downwards, and we can see the blue line is not breaking the white line to the upside. And at this point, we can see it going down. Third confirmation. Then here, the TikTok indicator. This is the TikTok. This is the bam bam. The TikTok was jumping from a green to a red dot. And from the green to the red dot, while crossing this upper band line, is the fourth indication. These are all the indicators that you get when you buy the TikTok or the band band indicator. Um, I need to shut off the Discord because else you will be seeing that pop up every time again. And um, all those errors indicate when we are red, 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 we are not going to stop the trade. The moment we cross this bottom line again with a red one, that is probably the moment we will stop the trade. And we can stop it a little bit later as well when the, uh, when the dots turn green again or when we break up to this white line or when we see this flag. That is all up to you. We stopped out a little bit early and that is what you can see. But we still had an 8.4% profit with a leverage of 10, 84%. So all in all, we made a $400 profit with a trade of 500 US dollar. Really cool. The next chart I want to share with you guys also very important is Bam, this one, because you need to realize how many huge companies, public traded companies are now holding Bitcoin. We have MicroStrategy with 70,000 Bitcoins. We have Tesla with 43,000 Bitcoins. 
We have Galaxy Digital Holdings with 16,000 Bitcoins, Square with 8,000 Bitcoins. All of these publicly traded companies already hold Bitcoins in their portfolio or on their balance sheet. I think it will be more and more. Midnight keeps, I need to close the Discord because they keep <laughs> screwing up my screen. Um, so yes, all these you know, public companies are holding Bitcoins and this list will become longer and longer and longer, guys, way much longer. This is very cool. Then I have another really cool chart. This one, bam, this one, the Bitcoin monthly option expiry, guys. We can see every time we expire with these options, we see a run of about 30%, expire a run of 30%, expire a run of more than 30%, expire a huge run again. We are just about near the moment i think it's today between 7 30 and 8 30 a.m utc that these options expire and um, so friday last friday of the month always between 7 30 and 8 30 these options expire and when we see this expire expiration of the options we can expect again bam a 30 percent run a 30 percent run of 50k is 10% is 5K, 30% is 15K. So that would be from 40K again up to 55K. So yes, we can see this happening every time again when these options expire. This could happen today again. So that would mean this weekend, we would see a huge run again to 50K and then probably on Monday, fall back again to this 40K level because of the CME gap that needs to close on the Monday when the people start to work again. Um, but that is how I think about the charts. That were all the charts for today. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Let's now jump into the blockchain news part. The part where I talk to you about the news I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee in Mexico, Tulum. Bam! The first news I read this morning was about Australia. It's about the Aussies. Is that like, can I say Aussies? Is that disrespectful? No, the Aussies. The Aussies did this beautiful survey. I think 2,000 investors filled the survey, survey and they admitted that more Aussies are nowadays buying cryptocurrency than gold and silver. It was 12.6% of the Aussies that buy cryptocurrency, 12.1% of the investors buy metals like gold and silver 63 percent of them that's the biggest part of course they still buy and believe in shares 25 percent is investing still in property i'm not going to invest in property or real estate no no i'm staying in crypto guys because crypto is a huge 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 kick-ass return on investment that we will never reach with real estate or property so i would advise those aussie sell your property like i did go all into crypto and really start to make profits bam and of all those crypto um, investors, they hold about 80% of them holds Bitcoin, 42% holds Ethereum, 28% holds Ripple. What the fuck are you doing? Stop holding this Ripple shit, man. <laughs> Take something decentralized. Don't hold too much Ripple, guys. Believe me, it's not the currency you want to be investing in. If you want to support the true Bitcoin revolution of disrupting the monetary system, you must not be investing in Ripple, in my opinion. But who am I? I'm a dude on a balcony in a hotel in Mexico in Tulum that has no ability of giving you any financial advice. So let that be very clear. <laughs> Bam! Another news that I read is that the MIT, uh, together with some huge names in the industry, are now trying to make this whole Bitcoin industry even more stable, even more secure. So they are taking care of the security of Bitcoin. I think it's the Winklevoss twins. It is Michael Saylor from MicroStrategy. I think it's Jack Dorsey and CoinShares. And the combination of these with MIT, they are, they are now trying to make sure that this Bitcoin blockchain stays secure. Really important news because that means that all the people that are heavily invested now into Bitcoin also support you know, the technical fundamentals of Bitcoin to keep it secure so that the next couple of 10, 20 years, we will still be invested in a very secure blockchain based peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency that is slowly transforming into the digital gold of the 21st century. Yes, I agree with really positive news that the big names start to support the technical development now as well. Bam. Then some really crazy news. Um, I think a month or two ago, I made some news about this uh, beautiful art piece, NFT art piece that was sold for, I think, 1 million US dollar or 1.5 million US dollar. That now, that, that art piece would call like uh, Crossroads, 
that one is now sold for 6.6 .6 million US dollar. I think it's the highest value ever sold for an NFT, 6.6 .6 million US dollar. That's a huge, huge amount for a digital art piece that we refer to in crypto as a non-fungible token, a NFT, 6.6 .6 million US dollar. I would, if I was you, I would start to create digital NFTs now right away and try to sell them all for 6.6 .6 million US dollar. Maybe for 100K, maybe for 1K. You know, whatever you get for it, it's all beautiful because it is incentivizing your skill in creating art. Bam! Getting windy on top of here, guys. And there is one more news I want to share with you. You know, JP Morgan, do you still remember that? Yo, nobody needs to invest in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a scam. If one of my employees will invest in Bitcoin, he will lose his job. That, that JP Morgan, Jamie Diamond, I think is his name. Uh, they now are advising their whole clientele to invest 1% of their assets in Bitcoin. So they now did a note to all their investors at JP Morgan. Please, guys, be aware to not skip Bitcoin. Invest 1% of your portfolio now into Bitcoin while you hear this beautiful Mexican sound in the back. Yes, Mexican uh, food truck or something. Yes, so now JP Morgan telling their people you need to hedge 1% of your portfolio into Bitcoin to protect your capital. What? How crazy does it need to get? First calling it a scam and now advising it to their clients. That is exactly what Bitcoin is doing to the world. It will be convincing everyone that this is the perfect hedge for not losing any capital during this huge crisis that we are going to see because of the lockdown of two years. Yes, this is the 21st century gold that you can get into now as well in a very simple non-KYC way if you want. If you want to do a KYC way, you just buy it directly with your bank or even use your bank as a custodial service. It's all already possible. So be aware of the evolution of technology and of the evolution of money and of the evolution of gold. And all of these three are combined in one beautiful thing we call Bitcoin. Bam! That was all the news for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I'd love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you tomorrow again. Bye. Bam.